Hello, this is David G. And this week on Life Tools, we're exploring recovering from a setback. Each of us experience setbacks, small ones, big ones, devastating ones. And probably the most valuable tool that you can use is the pattern interrupt. So I've talked about the pattern interrupt being that space between breaths, that space between thoughts, that space between our words, and that space between our actions medically proven now to create a greater nourishment to the body when we take that break, give ourselves that break. Well, when you've just experienced a setback, you need time for the wound to heal, the physical wound, the emotional wound. Now, of course, that doesn't mean that you spend two years grieving over it. The grieving process is different for everyone and everyone needs their own amount of time to grieve but even if you're grieving this is the opportunity where you can begin to build your resilience begin to build your ability to get back up but the first piece of this before you try to get back up is to truly take that pattern interrupt use that as a tool for recovery just like when we work out every single day we need to take that day off so that the muscles the sinews every aspect of our being can heal again. So before we leap into the next phase, we need to heal. So whatever anyone's telling you, oh, come on, just brush that off or get over it, that, that does make sense. But in order to rejuvenate, and rejuvenate is returning to that state that you were in before the scenario happened. Rejuvenation is returning to our core, to our wholeness, to our oneness, and we need a pattern interrupt to get us to that place, which means we maybe can hermit ourselves, isolate ourselves, take a deep breath and don't wallow in our misery. It's not a pity party. It's an opportunity for you to rest, recover, and breathe. So in that space, I would suggest extra meditations. In that space, I would suggest extra solitude. In that space, extra sleep. In that space, all the things your body and your mind needs to help you get strong again so you can launch into the next wave. So be gentle with yourself. That's the most important aspect. When you've had a setback, be gentle with this self. Be kind to yourself. You're gonna beat yourself up. You're gonna second guess all your decisions. But if you're kind in the process, then when you launch back out, you'll be stronger and more resilient. From the sweet spot of the universe, this is David G. And I'll see you in the gap. Namaste.